And welcome back to ProLine. Jim Feist and myself. We're going to look at game two of the Raptors Cavaliers NBA playoff series in just a moment. But first, let me tell you about a special offer that I've got. I think this is terrific. It's for the rest of May. That's 13 straight days of baseball and, and the NBA and the NHL. And the total cost, $19. All you have to do is make one phone call to 1-855-472-2577. Again, that's 855 855- 472-2577, the rest of May for only $19. Great offer, Dave. I'm on a 19-8 and eight run in the NBA playoffs, 8-2 and two with my high roller platinums. For Thursday, I have a five-day package, five straight days of plays, all sports, $5. That's right, five little grocery dollars. Play through Monday with me, 866-546-9467. Welcome back to ProLine. It's time to look at game two between the Raptors and Cavaliers. Everybody knows what happened in the first game. Just an absolute obliteration. And that's been the whole story for Cleveland in the NBA playoffs. Jim, I look at this and I'm I'm asking myself, is Toronto just happy to be there at this point? Well, you know, the East, we've, we've said it all year long. The East is very light, very weak, except for Cleveland. LeBron James, they got love. They got Kyrie Irving. They got a new coach, and he seems to be doing what the players want him to be doing. So they, Blatt got fired, bring this guy in, doing a great job. They didn't focus that much on the regular season except just to get there, and they did. Now, Toronto, they got by Miami, but Miami had injuries. I don't know if that was really they were that good or just Miami that hurt. But this team now, too, they're coming in here without the big guy in the middle. Valanchunas arguably is the best player they have on the team because he protects the rim. He can score. Very athletic. Big physical guy. He might be back for game three, but he's not going to be back for game two. They scored 84 points the other night. But Cleveland's been holding everybody down. They've only given up over 100 points three times in the playoffs. They, By the way, they've won all nine games they've played. And one of those times... The game went into overtime. So their defense has been extremely good. LeBron has matured. He's been around the league over 10 years, 12, 13 years now. He's matured. He's a different kind of player. And with that much balance on the team, he doesn't even have to play as hard as he did. Remember last year against Golden State, he carried that team. They had Love was hurt. Irving was hurt. It was all LeBron James. A couple games from Smith, J.R. Smith scored some points. This is a great basketball player. This is a very good, maybe even great basketball team. I don't see Toronto matching up at all. No, hey, look, here's the, the thing. Toronto, they did a great job to get through the, this last series. It's a nice advancement. They won the, they won the NIT. <laughs> they won the NIT. Stepping up to the NCAA. Now they're playing in the Final Four in the NCAA tournament, and they just can't match up. Can they stay within 13 points? This line's going to end up around 12 and a half well, somewhere you, there. You gotta look yeah, at, I suppose. But. You've got to look at DeRozan, DeRozan and Lowry. And, and these guys are hit and miss. Yeah. I like DeRozan a little bit better than Lowry. Well, he seems to be more nice consistent. Players. But look, Lowry didn't show up the other night. And DeRozan, he had 20-some you know, points. But without the big inside guy to protect the rim, they decided to stop the three-point shot. And they... They cut it down, they cut it way down because against Atlanta they had 77 threes. I'm oh, talking about Cleveland. Amazing. But last night or the other night they did not get that many threes. Why? Because they guarded the three, let them drive to the hoop. I think they got 82 points at the rim. You can't give up 82 points at the rim and stay in a game. It was blowout city. LeBron sat most of the third and fourth quarter. I mean, if they can rest their players like that. There's no fatigue issue, even if they're playing every other day. I don't see how this team can stay within 18, 20 points at any time. Well, I think it's safe to say that Cleveland, and this is a, this is a very obscure reference only for people my age and Jim's. Uh, Johnny Horton had a number one song with this, I believe it was in the late 1950s. It was called Sink the Bismarck. And in this case, <laughs> you know, there's a guy named Bismarck on the Toronto Raptors, and he got sunk along with the rest of his team. And I suspect the same thing is going to happen in game two. Best name in the league, though. Biz- it is a very Biz- cool Mac name. Bismarck or Bismarck? Bismarck. Bismarck yeah. by Yombo. Named a city in North Dakota or one of those Dakotas. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. Very popular guy. Okay, we'll come back. We'll take a look at some baseball wagering strategies. A lot of good things to talk about. Stick with us. <laughs> 